the Nightside Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Curie on KSL News Radio. Anyway, okay, here's what I was going to say. Maybe I was, maybe I was unfairly assuming. Yeah, a few you were. Things. You're foolish on that. All right. This one I wanted to bring to you because is this where you need your image? This is where I need my flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> All right, I posted Wait, the image. What is it? Well, hold on. Those are really red. Flaming hot Cheetos. Yeah, but they're not that are red. Bright. Yes, they are. Okay. They are that red. I mean, I want to get that bag that has that much flavor on it, right? Okay, so I don't know if you know what the tale is of the the crunchy flaming hot Cheeto. So PepsiCo describes flaming hot Cheetos as quote their top selling snack. And I thought that's crazy. Yeah. And then they also rolled this thing out. There was an interview that was done with the guy who actually created the Flamin' Hot Cheeto. And years ago, Cheeto, Frito-Lay, Cheeto Company, (laughs) Frito-Lay, PepsiCo, KFC, whoever, (laughs) all those people, they're all related. They, um... They rolled out this thing from the CEO, which was like, hey, everybody get involved in this business. This is your company. Uh, Come to us with your ideas. Come to us and make this company better. And one of their janitors at their Rancho Cucamonga plant in Rancho Cucamonga country. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Rancho Cucamonga, (laughs) Maryland. The the capital of Cucamonga. (laughs) No, so in California, at their California plant, this guy named Richard who was an immigrant born in Mexico, Richard Montañez. Okay. He's a janitor at the plant. He watched this video, and he looked. At, he said, I looked around at my other coworkers, and none of them seemed like they took it very seriously. Because you know how we've all been in that corporate thing where they go, this is your company. You take control of your destiny. And right? you're like, okay. Yeah, cool, cool. Anyway, are there just cookies sign, at just, the end of this meeting? <laughs> just sign my paycheck, and I'll... Uh... So he looked around and said, yeah. And he said he saw one time workers just mindlessly putting in... Uh, you know, all the stuff into the ingredients and then just moving on and, and the product worked. He knew Cheetos worked. So, but then he said, I met the, I met the corner with some of my friends and uh, Mexican corn on like the, uh, off of like a street vendor. I don't know if you've seen it before. You know what they do? They had butter, they had cheese, they had mayonnaise sometimes. And then they put a big douse of chili on it, like the powdered chili on it. Yeah. Uh, like the red chilies, right? The red chili powder. Yeah. And so, and they love it. And they eat it. And he got this idea. And he went to his wife and said, how can we do this? I want to put this together. So this is the part that I love. And I know this is getting a little bit long, but long story short, he said, I had two weeks. I finally got through to a secretary who said, I'll get you through to one of the company presidents. And he did. And they convinced him to do a presentation because it was all based on this video that they had shown us. Come to us with your ideas. He's like, well, put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he said he and his wife... We're going to do this presentation. Wife didn't work for Pepsi, obviously. Right. Or for uh, Frito-Lay. He said, I knew nothing about marketing. I had two weeks to prepare a presentation before company executives. He and his wife went to the public library, copied a strategy from one of the business books. He bought a $3 tie, first one he'd ever owned. A neighbor helped him tie it. He put Cheetos in sample bags that he had designed himself, and he went to the meeting. Company's exe- company executives were bowled over by his presentation about how the Latino... Uh, community is going to love this and people love spicy stuff right now and so it'll just catch on Flamin' Hot was born that day which is top, which is as I said according to uh, Frito-Lay their top selling snack one of their top selling snacks that's amazing Richard is now the executive vice president of multicultural sales for North, the Mer- North American divisions that's incredible he also has been getting the products into you know Taco Bell Flamin' Hot they have the Flamin' Hot shells now and yeah and I'm assuming he's just going to keep pretty doing soon that. they're going to have Flamin' Hot uh, Colonel Sanders <laughs> <laughs> and and Flamin' Hot Pepsi. So. You know, you could do that because what if you. So it's for your Zen headline, when your boss comes and goes, hey, take over. This is your company. If you have a great idea, come forward. Take them up on it. Make them make them uh, take you seriously. This is what they need to do. All right. KFC specifically. They need to take these Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Hold on. I'm going to get these the music going again. Yeah. Take your Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Okay. Mash them up into not powder, but small chunks. Lines, as it were. And then you and Snort then them? you. No, 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 no. That's no. not a good small way to chunk. consume these. And then you take the chicken. Oh, uh, roll it in there. Batter it. 
Roll it yeah. through the flaming hot Cheetos. And then chase it with sniff fry. and a line of it. Huh? Fry. Then you fry, fry it. it in the fry. Now does flaming, the flaming hot, hot Cheeto does it fried come chicken. Through? Does it come through on because my I think if before we even try this, what I'm thinking is gonna happen is you're gonna lose a lot of the flaming hot flavor with the oil. So you hit it with that powder afterwards. After, too. yeah. Ch- ch- Boom. Yeah. yeah, some extra chili powder. Um yeah. Ethan, I love this idea. And I think KSL should start making their own. So this is what's going to do. Wings. After this, you and I are going to the library. We're going to find a <laughs> business management book, get some strategy. <laughs> uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos, number one snack that you get from Frito Lay. What's your favorite crunchy snack on the planet? My favorite crunchy favorite snack? favorite crunchy snack on the planet. I, I'm not, and it's not just because it's topical or in my mind, but Cheetos is up there. Yeah, Cheetos yeah. is pretty Cheetos, good. Cheetos is up there. I I'm not going to say it's my favorite, but I need you to try something. I told you about this. What? The extra burned Cheetos, the oh, Dennis the, Miller the, style. The, no, Cheetos. the extra burned. Not, they weren't Cheetos. They're the or uh, Cheez Its. Cheez Its. Uh, the the go to the store and they have extra toasty now, and they're brownish. They're just they're just they stayed in the oven just a little longer. Okay. And you're gonna eat it and go, wow, cheesy but a little bit overdone. Nice. Okay. All right. I'll I'll test it out. In the meantime, look us up on social media: Ethan Millard KSL, Alex Keery KSL on Twitter. Or uh, on Instagram, Ethan Miller or K- Alex Geary on Instagram as well. So, thanks for being with us. And as a follow-up to the flaming hot Cheeto story already, there is a Harambe-shaped flaming hot Cheeto that is, of course, up to a hundred thousand dollars on eBay for a bid. <laughs> Just eat it. <laughs>